what's going on it's wacky cat this video i'm going to be showing you my no sliders method for wwe 2k23 i've done this method with 2k22 last year i didn't have a name for it but uh it was the no sliders method meaning uh let me explain more let's get into it uh i don't want to make this video long okay all this difficulty and this is for ai versus ai player versus ai ai versus player versus player however you want to play it uh these really don't matter how you have it it's all up to you uh if, of course if you you know if you're playing the game you want to keep the superstar hub on but this uh the balancing is where is where you want to have the game like you want it now here we go pay attention it's pretty simple this is all simple that is it is what it is no sliders method all right the ai all this is at zero ai standing ai grappling yeah no sliders method now the reasoning for this method in my view and why i got these sliders turned down to zero is that the game is going to go from the way i see it it's going to go strictly from whatever wrestler you pick their attributes their tendency sliders if you're playing the ai so if you're facing a higher rated wrestler or a lower rated wrestler by having the sliders to zero that's going to be standing out more how dominant the higher rated wrestler is from the lower rated wrestler in my opinion all this reversal strike reversal standing reversal 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 in logic to me means that it's helping the weaker rated wrestler have somewhat of a chance to beat the higher rated wrestler now just because he's at zero doesn't mean the ai won't perform the ai will perf still perform all these uh reversals but it won't be at a uh a high rate uh and this in my opinion makes the game more realistic because it's just it's cutting the middleman out and just strictly going from what wrestler you're picked or what wrestler you're fighting against and their own attributes their own ratings it, the rate the ratings will stand out more so let me let me get to ai standing reversal zero 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 ai combo zero submission rate zero they still do submissions now they'll still do all this stuff now uh ai dive rate zero grapple rate zero 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 this is custom entrance run in two i keep them on the two now referee downtime that's still out of 100 referee falls out that's a 100 basic reversal window keep that at zero ground attack window zero reversal uh finisher and signature i kept that at 80 to make the, the match a little bit more dramatic reversal at uh re weapon 50 stamina cost now stamina cost i got that at 100 the reason i have the stamina cost at 100 is that it helps the person that's getting their tail whoop to come back because the person that's dishing out the damage is you lose is losing stamina so the weaker up the opponent that's that's taking that's on defense can come back because the offense opponent is using stamina so this i've got this 100 to give the opponent a chance to come back in the match stamina recovery rate zero there's no recovery here stun recovery rate zero uh roll out zero uh roll out duration zero now this right here is optional right here the stun gain i got it at 100 to make it more realistic so if your guy gets stunned he's down longer uh you can choose to do 50 uh, you can do 50 50 to make it not too frustrating because it can get frustrating especially player versus ai or player versus player so it's up to you uh, uh, keep it 50 even the stun duration as well keep it 50 50 
keep them both at 50 if you want if you're playing player versus player or player versus AI because it will get kind of frustrating like dang I'm knocked out for a long time but I try to go for the realism so that's why I turn it up all the way up to 100 you know to sell the more fatigue whatever vitality regain cooldown zero vitality regain rate zero AI difficult damage scaling I keep that at 70 drag escape 50 carry escape 50 advanced sliders I got this all at 50 uh, my you may have seen my previous sliders I might have changed this up but I keep them at 50 to make the match a little bit unpredictable well you know this is the default setting it's still unpredictable at 50 time mini game all oh, this is custom how, how you know how you want to play the game the submission and the pinning you know this up to you the, the indicator speed easy you can make it easier this all that's called customized so yeah so this is just my method uh, for alternate sliders a more uh, this slide this this form of method is you're relying on the attribute strictly of that particular wrestler of that individual wrestler and their tendencies of that individual wrestlers if you're playing the ai well anyway that's it for this video i'm wacky cat make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'm out